you're a double minority, woman, mm -hmm. African American. Your giving back has been, and I've watched it and I've seen it, so it's not just something that I'm talking about, but anybody watching this won't know. Can we talk about your La Bella Mafia? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we didn't, this was given, name given to us, by the way. Uh, 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 <laughs> um, yeah, so I, again, I'm in, so I'm intentional about a couple of things with making sure that there are women represented in the rooms. I've been really fortunate that I just grew up with just a lot of, like, who would have known at seven years old that the women that I were friends with just ended up being so, like, brilliant, boss, just badass women. But I'm also very intentional about looking around at Combs Enterprises, particularly about saying, like, there's no reason for it to be only male executives when the population is 50% women. And I went out and was like, hey, here's some brilliant women, let's bring them in. And they came and they also helped make additional great revenue for the company. Um, I think I also go out of my way whether I know, if I'm in a room, which to this day, nothing has changed from when I was 21, uh, negotiating $100 million defense contracts and I was the youngest and the only black woman in the room, to Tuesday, you know what I mean, like where I'm typically still at, I'm in a holiday, I'm at 44, you know what I mean, honestly, still sometimes the youngest and the only woman and the only black in the room. So that's terrible, right? Like we need, I need all y'all to help with that change because it shouldn't be the same 20 years later. Um, but I do try to be really intentional about when there is any other, any other minority in the room of any underserved population, I go out of my triple way to be like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, wait. I'm sorry, Jane, were you saying something? Because you have to support each other. I've seen so many times like women saying something being talked over or, you know what I mean, the Spanish person's not being listened to or somebody from another country's there and like people can't understand their accent so they don't listen. It's just like, no, be, we need to bring respect. And if you, have, if you have the ability to, if you have the microphone, you know what I mean, then I try to make sure I use it to say like, nope, everybody has a platform. I have one example and she talks about this too. Um, chef, one of, one of Puff Chef's uh, name was Chef Jordan. She was um, interviewing for a role to be Puff's personal chef when I was the chief of staff. And she had just come from Seattle. She had never done like celebrity chef work before, but he loved her food and wanted to hire her. So I went, I was like, hey, we want to hire you. And I said, what kind of conversation would you like? And the amount she said was way crazy low for New York, for the role, just knowing what the average role was. And I was like, I didn't, I didn't know her from anything except for interviewing her. And I was like, no, go on payscale.com, go on Sherm, if y'all don't know this too, S-H-R-M, go on Sherm. Um, and then you can look and put in like what this job is, the zip code you're gonna be working, it will tell you what the market rate is. I will be here, come back in an hour. And she came back in an hour with an appropriate rate, we negotiated it. And what I got out of that in return, right, it wasn't some altruistic thing for me. It was, now I had a woman who was like, damn, this company actually cares about me. One, she's getting paid what she deserves, what she should, and whatever side of the table you're on, you need to make sure you're standing up for each other. To this day, like, she went on to be a hugely successful TV shows, worked for a bunch of celebrities. Um, to this day, she's like, she puts those same practices in place when she's in interviewing and she's hiring. Um, so I think you have, to, you have to do more than talk about it, you know what I mean? I think you have to advocate with your hands and feet, and I try, to, I try as much as I can to live like that. Yeah, because I, you really did change the culture of Bad Boy Entertainment overall. Like, you really placed women in leadership positions across the brand. Um, and about, it was the most profitable time too, by the way. <laughs> you, you always talk about math matters. Matters. Why does it matter to have women in leadership positions? It just, so the, this is again, this is, people tend to approach it like it's some charitable thing, but it's just not, right? So um, I'll give you a couple examples. There's a, <clears throat> a fund, uh, a research group actually called Quantopian out of Boston. They did research on this <laughs> that showed that um, when you look at the S&P 100, women CEOs typically outperform three to one versus male CEOs. Just last week, CNBC reported an updated version of a similar study. This was the full S&P 500, was showing that women in their first two years of appointment as CEO performed 20% higher on stock returns. 20%, just to be, just to really make this clear, if you just throw your money in a mutual fund, like a good mutual fund, you will get like 5%. Well, 20% is like so not a fluke, it's a level of intentionality. And to be honest, I don't even think it's, it's not so much about women versus men. I think it's more about, because I could say like if women were in power for the next hundred years, it probably would flip. But I think whenever you are the underserved population and you're accustomed to working four times as hard, whatever, whether you're handicapped or a veteran or woman 
or you know what I mean, or black, you're likely going to quadruple your efforts to get the ROI and the math just bears out for it. So I always say this about particularly when women hires, I'm like, you don't have to do it for your heart, do it for your wallet. Like you're doing a disservice <laughs> to your shareholders if you don't have women in leadership. Wow. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.